A detail component is a two-dimensional entity that can be inserted into a Revit project to look like its three-dimensional counterpart. In this exercise, what we're gonna do is we're gonna place a two by six down here at the bottom of our wall. And it's gonna be supporting this main wall going on up to our roof. How this is gonna work, underneath the annotate tab on the ribbon, move over and then click on the little arrow next to the word component. Make sure that detail component is highlighted. We will ultimately be using a repeating detail component as well, but for this instance, just select on detail component. Once you do that, take a look underneath properties over here on the side. When you do, you'll notice that the only ones that are currently loaded into this project, and you can see that by clicking on the picture, is brick, as well as this W wide flange section, which is a steel beam size. We don't want to load those into our current project. We want to draw in a two by six. So to do that, we need to come up on the ribbon and select on Load Family. Double click on the little folder next to Detail Items. Each one of these is a different division with its own set of detail components inside of it. There are hundreds of different detail components that we can choose from. In this case, we want to do two by sixes, which are made out of wood. So we'll open up the folder for Division 6, Wood and Plastic. 061100, Wood Framings next. And now we're going to choose Nominal Cut Lumber Section because this is a section view. And Nominal Cut Lumber, that's the kind of boards that you would buy and be actually building with out at your job site. So select on Nominal Cut Lumber Section and click on Open. When you do that, you'll have a choice of different wood sizes here on the list. In this case, click where you see 2x6 listed and it's gonna drop in a two by six board into our project. And that board will be five and a half inches by one and a half inches in size. That's the size of that board after it went through the milling process. Click on okay. There's the board. If we hit the space bar before even clicking to place it, we'll be able to rotate this around. Once it's rotated into this rough position, click right in this location. We now have the sill plate down at the bottom of our wall, and that's going to be supporting the two by sixes up above. Move up and then click right about here. What this board is going to do is it's going to support the roof up above. Place another one directly underneath it like so, and just click, and then hit escape a couple of times to get out of the command. Now we can see that we have two boards up at the top of our wall supporting the roof, as well as a board down here at the bottom that's our sill plate that ultimately is going to help connect this wall to the foundation down below. Now the next thing I like to do is start to add some brick. To do that, we could come up here to components, select on brick, and then start clicking individually, one brick at a time. Or in this case, what we're actually looking at here is the bottom of the wall, and this is made out of CMU block. And click one CMU block spot at a time. In this case though, I just want to pick one of the bricks off of the list and instead of clicking each spot where a brick should be, we're gonna use a repeating detail component instead. So choose repeating detail and brick, move down here and click in this location. Now move straight up. When you do, you're gonna see this brick is gonna follow wherever your cursor goes on the screen. If you hit the space bar, it'll flip the brick over to the other side. Once you see the brick coming up to this location here, click to finish the placement. Now we can see the individual brick coursing coming up the wall. We could start that again by clicking here and then clicking to place more brick in. So by using the repeating detail component, it will repeat that same detail component again and again and again over the link that you choose. So detail components allow you to place individual pre-drawn objects in to help you with both accuracy as well as the speed of drawing in such things as your wall sections. Repeating detail components do the same thing. In fact, they place in a detail component just like these, except it repeats that detail component again and again and again along the path of your choosing.